Just a quick video and a quick reminder, lenses have glass in them and if they aren't clean, you're not going to like your video footage. Let's see how to quickly clean these. I just wanted to do this quick video and give you a reminder that cleaning your lenses periodically, it may be every day, it may be once a week, it may be once a year, is a really good idea. I'm gonna show you what I use to clean my lenses, how it works. I'm gonna show you the proper cloth I use and the proper solution I use that rocks it every time. All right, here's a typical lens that I have. Now, the first thing you need to know is that on these lenses, you get dust, you get dirt, get various things on here especially sand you get sand particles on here like if you're at the beach or outside and what happens is anytime you rub this cleaning fluid or not it's going to scratch the lens now these are really tough the coatings are really tough it's a matter of time when you spend five hundred or thousand two thousand dollars on a lens you keep doing that over time it's going to slowly degrade and you're going to eventually wonder what's going on now don't use paper towels. Just don't use them ever on your eyeglasses, on anything. They're abrasive, and they also have like oils and things like that in there that can get on your lens, and they're really a pain to take off. If you want to clean your windows with paper towels, go right ahead. Personally, I suggest newspaper, so ditch that one. I'm in a pretty closed environment with all my lenses, but if I go outside, especially if you're at something like the beach, you're going to get sand on your lenses no matter how hard you try. Always use a blower ball. Just blow some of the debris off of there because otherwise you're sitting there rubbing this thing and you're rubbing sand on it whether you can see it or not. You basically have created sandpaper. Now I had this Canon cloth come with one of my lenses. It's great. It has a nice texture and everything else. The problem with it is as you use this over and over, over and over the whole purpose of doing this is to pick up particles and more importantly to get the oil off the lenses so over time this thing is going to pick up the oils that you can't see so i actually don't use this next thing is i also like to use this little brush here these are really great if you don't have the blower ball with you you just kind of want to go around and make sure that you get those particles off there. Uh, it doesn't take a long time. Now, one forewarning when cleaning your lenses, I've seen these guys, and there's nothing wrong with having a brush like this. They need to be very soft. And then the other end, they plant this little thing <laughs> for cleaning your lens. It's the same deal. You can put some spray on here and clean your lens on here, and this is just gonna continue to pick up oils. And pretty soon, you're gonna be smearing your oil all over. So I wouldn't suggest that either. I just get rid of that. Bye-bye. So now I've got my clean cloth. I really like these uh, magic fiber cloths. I got a clean cloth. And when I take this cloth, I'm gonna go through and clean my five or 10 lenses or whatever and all my camcorders with this, knowing I'm just fine. So don't ever wipe your lens is dry. I don't care if you're using your t-shirt or whatever you're using, don't wipe them dry because again, if you pick up any particles or anything like that, it may scratch them. More importantly, all you're going to do is wipe the oils around. You're just smearing the oils. That's not going to work. Now, it's very popular to use your breath, but here's the problem with that. That's water-based. So now what you're doing again is you're just sitting there and you're wiping the oils around. You're not really dealing with the problem, which is fingerprints and oils and things like that. Now, this works great. It came with my lens. It's just some Canon lens cleaning fluid. It's it's easy to travel with. I like it. It's great. You put a few drops on your cloth, away you go. Most people get these and uh, they will either spray them on or they'll drop this on the lens. You really shouldn't do that. You really should put it on your lens first because remember, not all lenses you have are sealed or are watertight. So if you start doing this and the liquid gets in there and it hits sometimes these paper um, elements down in there, that's bad. Just, just don't pour it on the lens, that's all. Now, the reason why I don't use this is because it's just an alcohol-based cleaning fluid. And the cleaning fluid I use, which I absolutely love, is Roar. It's called Residual Oil Remover. And it is really great. It is a bit alcohol based and it also has a mild cleaner and it really gets deep down into the lens and into things imperfect. You can't even see what it's doing, but I love this stuff. This is about $10 a bottle. It lasts you 
depending on how long you clean your lenses, it'll last you for an entire year. Now, if you look at this lens, normally it's sitting on your camera in your studio or whatever, and it looks fine. You look at it, it looks fine. But if you can see this under the light as I twist this, look at that. That fingerprint comes into view. I wouldn't have noticed this sitting in my studio on the camera because I'm just blowing lights into my lens. And as I'm filming without knowing it, I may have these slight smeary spots or it may look a little out of focus or something like that. And that'll just drive you crazy. And you wonder what's wrong with your camera and you'll chase everything else when simply someone, I imagine me, accidentally put their finger on their lens. Now the way to clean these is quite simple. You spray your cloth. Do not spray it on the lens as I've said. And just wipe away. It's been a while since I cleaned this lens. Now I have no problem drying the lens off because there's no dirt, debris, or oils on here, and I'm using a clean cloth. Now that's a clean lens. I can move it. I can see there's really no residual oils on there, which is awesome. Now this doesn't take long. Here's my lens. I just throw it up there. I make sure I grab my brush, maybe get off some dust particles or anything else like that. We're out of there. Spray my cloth on a clean area, wipe her down, clean lens, we're done, cap back on. Now while I have this awesome lens cleaner here, I have my phone sitting here and this thing is just, ugh. You'll notice I've got dust, dirt, the thing's kinda cracked. I would do the same thing on the lens for my phone. I would wipe it off, make sure there's no dust, especially when you take these things at the beach, spray this, and clean the lens on my phone thoroughly. That way, when I shoot B-roll or I'm taking photos or whatever, I know I have a clean lens on my phone. Same goes for my iPad. I'd take and spray this and I would clean the lenses on the iPad in case I happen to be shooting something. And that way I don't have crummy, bad looking footage or B-roll or pictures or whatever I'm doing. And if you happen to wear glasses, it's also a good idea while you're cleaning your lenses to clean your glasses. What'll happen is when you're on camera is all these smudges and things, they'll, they'll look weird, they'll keep your eyeballs from being seen, they'll refract light. And plus, who doesn't want to see the world? So again, I just spray some on the cloth, wipe down my glasses, and now I have clean lenses, and when I'm wearing them, not only will I be able to see, but when I'm on camera shooting or whatever, they won't have all the weird stuff around my eyeballs. Now you may think, no big deal, but think about the lenses just I have that I use, and if they have a smudge on them, I'm gonna be shooting all day, or all week, or whatever, I'm gonna go look at the footage, I'm not gonna notice, or it's not gonna be quite right, because your lenses aren't clean. I can, in maybe 10 minutes, I can go through and clean the three or four of the prime lenses I have for my camera. I got a lens built into that camcorder. I should clean that. I got a lens built into this overhead cam over here. I should clean that. I got a lens over there on my 5D in the studio. I should clean that. And my iPads and my iPhone because I do use those for shooting B-roll and stuff. There's all sorts of lenses sitting around and it's a really good idea to do that periodically. Like I said, once a day, more likely once a week, once a month, something. So every once in a while you go through and you just clean off your lenses to make sure you're not wondering what the heck's going on with your footage. I hope this little tip helped. If this was helpful for you, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget I have many, many courses, six of them free over at Basic Filmmaker University. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and thank you for all your support. And we'll see you next time. I don't know if you can hear that. I started another video, I think it was earlier, and all of a sudden this big truck with beep, beep, beeps and stuff was backing up. So I just decided I'm gonna chill for a while, maybe do some scripts, handle emails, social media and everything else. Come back, everything's quiet. I'm ready to go and guess what? Someone out is outside doing something, rototilling or chopping down a forest or I don't know, burning my neighborhood down.